<laughs> YouTube, what is up? I was not even planning on making a video today, but my package from Japan has arrived. So we are about to do some fishing. Don't worry, I saved y'all the unboxing and I already took it out of the box. Bam! Shimano DC Scorpion and 100 HG, which just basically means it's the what is it? HG stands for high gear because you can either get it with a faster gear ratio or a slower gear ratio and then a hundred I think is based on the left or right handed because if you get 101 it's left handed if I'm not mistaken I'll have to check myself on that one but uh, anyways it was supposed to come in like five days from now and it just showed up in my doorstep so I'm over here at Field and Stream I'm gonna get some line on this thing and we're gonna take it out. Let's get in here and get this thing spooled up. Got it tied on, yeah, check that out. What we went ahead and did was got 30 pound braid, just cause I'm used to using braid. I got like one GoPro battery, so we should be good for just a minute. But I just wanna kinda check out the casting on this thing today. Check this out, oh my gosh. How sick is that? Never owned a $300 reel before. I don't know how to open it, so I'm gonna have to figure that out. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so cool. I'm gonna have to get down there and actually try this thing out, like seriously. So I figured out how to open this thing and I'm putting it on the braid setting, which I'll have to explain later. I really didn't think I was gonna make a video today. I just wanted to uh, get out. So now we close that and we take this right here from open uh, back to auto because that's what I'm gonna leave it on for today. Super smooth. Oh, it feels good how it tapers. Like when, you, when you're when you palming it, it feels good. Like it's just like the perfect size. It feels uh, nice. <laughs> how sick is that? Feel for the sound. Yeah, and I put this uh, bright green 30 pound braid on here. So, I mean, it's not going to be ideal as far as the visibility underwater. It looks pretty visible. So what I would do is just the quick fix is get a black Sharpie with the thicker tip and you kind of like slit the tip of it with a razor and then you can get your line in that slit and you can just take the sharpie and go all the way up the line you know to about like right here on your rod so that you've got the darker line just long enough to uh, get it to where the fish can't see yet you've got the visibility of the yellow or the green or whatever color bright colored line you've got so you can see what's going on with your line I haven't adjusted the tension knob I'm not sure how quickly this is gonna fall okay it falls fairly fast so let me tighten up the tension knob a little bit and let's get it to where it falls slowly and then okay that's falling pretty slowly so I'm gonna cast it and I'm not gonna stop it and we'll see how well this thing performs when it hits the water Oh. You saw it a little bit there, but it did a good job. For now, I've got this thing paired up with the jig rod, the Luz Mach Speed Stick. If I'm not mistaken, it's 7.2 medium heavy. Yeah, 7.2 medium heavy, fast taper. I got to split here pretty quick, but it looked like I just saw some movement over here. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. What's right here? Oh, there we go. There we go. First fish on the new reel. Oh my gosh. Dang, wasn't even intending to make a video today. He's a little guy, but these hooks got him good. Oh boy. You're kidding. This one got him on the top and the bottom. What the heck am I supposed to do? There he goes. Thank goodness, because that got his top and bottom lip to where I couldn't really get it very good. Oh my gosh. I saw those fish get stirred up. Dude, I bet you... I bet you I'll get a bunch of bites right here. And y'all know I love the crankbait, but it's been so cold lately, I haven't been throwing it. I just screwed that up. But um, yeah, I haven't been using the crankbait because it's, you know, it's fast moving and it's been sub freezing here this week in Texas. So I'm talking about it's been cold. Damn it. Oh, don't even. <laughs> now, now we can talk about the troubles of a crankbait. Today's gonna be a short video, guys. I, I'm, I'm not even like 
super happy that I'm gonna be putting this one out because I didn't put much time into it. I really didn't have a lot of time to film today. But I mean, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a review of this thing. I'm gonna do a bunch of videos with this reel. They're pretty pumped. I was gonna put floral carbon on it, but they didn't have any that was 17 pound. All they had was 12 and I'm just, I'm real familiar and comfortable with braided line now. So I really like it. And uh, in case y'all are worried about visibility and the fish not biting because they see the line, that guy just hit the crankbait with bright green line. So I wouldn't stress too much. I wonder where the rest of these bass are hanging out. Let's try by the dock. Well, that was a bad cast. Man, I was on my way out too. I started on that dock and then I walked over there and then I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna try this one little pocket in the sun before I head back to the truck. And uh, as soon as I walked over here, all those fish started jumping. I should just walk around a little bit more and see if I can't stir something else up. Crank baiting in the winter. Most people would probably just tell you slow it down. Slow down your retrieve. That way you'll get those fish that aren't as active. But today's about 60 degrees. I'm sure the water temp is still extremely cold. Like there was, there was a, uh, oh, nope, nope, nope. There was ice on this one the other day when I passed it, but I was thinking to myself, I've never been here. This one's, it's, it's definitely private. There's signs saying resident ID card only, catch and release program, all this stuff, but I don't think I'm doing any harm giving it a shot. I really just came to test out the reel. I really need to have already have left, but I'm just in the zone after catching that one. I'm thinking, Oh, this beautiful sound. It's like, do I want to catch bass more or do I want to just keep casting? Like if I could just cast over and over and not have to reel it in, the sound of this thing is just something else. I swear I'm telling you, it's one of the reasons that I even got into bait casters was the sound. The sound that some of the bait casters make with the braided line and it's just already sick enough. Oh, there goes, there goes that. But then when you get this digital chip reel, I'm not even doing a good explanation of what this reel is or why I got it or anything, but trust me, the videos are coming, but it's a digital chip reel. I've been watching a lot of John B's latest videos was in, he uses one. It's a Shimano. I forget the name of the one he's using, but it's like a bright silver. And I'm like, what is that? I got to have it. And I was not about to spend over $100 on a reel for the longest time. I'm like, there's no way, man. I'm not going to get these expensive reels. I'm busy buying like the cast kings that are affordable and still have really unique features and I love it. I could have got four, five, six, seven freaking reels for the price of this one right here. But uh, as soon as I heard that sound right there, I, I the money was already spent. <laughs> I'm telling you. like. I, I, I'm not even thinking about that $300 right now. <laughs> I'm too excited. So <laughs> you guys got to pick you up one of these right here. <laughs> They're hard to come across. Some of the sellers only have quantities of one available at all times. So if y'all are interested in this reel right here, I'm telling you, so smooth. See, look at this bright green line. Makes it easy to figure out where your knots are messed up. Oh, I'm digging it. Watch out when you use a crankbait, man, because they find a way to get messed up. All right, I really got to go. I really got to go. But basically, this is a digital chip reel, and that's the braking system. So normally, a lot of these bait casters have a magnetic braking system, whereas this one has like a freaking computer in here. It's running like six gigs of RAM, and it's telling it all these different things. It's got like 500 gigs of hard drive space, so you can store your previous catches in this thing. It's ridiculous. That's a joke. But it's seriously, it is a digital chip, so it's basing the brakes off of... Uh, I guess the size of the lure, the weight is what I mean really, and what line you're using so you can pop the side off and you can uh, tell it what line you're using, fluorocarbon monofilament or braided line. Also you can uh, adjust it from automatic as far as the weights go to one through four. So automatic is what I've heard is the way to go. This is so cool. I seriously want each and every one of y'all to experience this. Like I could not wait to get this thing. I don't even... It hasn't even been that long of a wait, I don't feel like. I placed the order on uh, 27th, and it's now the 5th, so I waited, you know, 10 days or so to get this thing. I am super stoked. All right, I'm going to head back to the truck, you guys. But there's going to be a lot more videos with this Shimano Scorpion DC100HG reel. All right, I'll catch you all on the next one. Peace.